What up, y'all? It's your boy Thursday's back again with another motherfucking video, aka DS Lynch. Hey, S fam, I want to say S fam salute, stand up, stay focused, motor, stay ready, stand up, S fam, stand up, stay focused and motivated, get motivated up in this jank one time, yeah. Hey, first of all, I want to thank everybody for your support. Thank you for everything. Thanks for coming to check out my page. Comment, like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification when you hit that subscribe. Also, yo, we got the new Super S Fam join. You can join the S Fam team. Join the Super S Fam. Get the special perks. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description if I can. All right, I'm gonna try and work it out. Also, y'all, I've been getting a lot of requests to do reactions. I need y'all to keep on requesting. Check out the social media right over here. I love it when y'all freaking request at my IG. You can also leave some comments in the comment section. Leave requests in the comment section. What? Okay, yo, thank y'all so, so much just for coming to check your boy out. Listen up, S-Fam. So, somebody told me they wanted me to react to Angry Cops versus the college students. I already reacted to that video, y'all. I already reacted to that video. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. I'm also put a little thing, a little tag up here, and I'm gonna leave a thumbnail at the end of the video so you can check that out if you want to. Today, S-Fam, I see a video up here that says military slang has offended too, far too many people. I guess it's Angry Cops he's talking to, he's talking to We Are The Mighty. I've never seen this video before. I've never seen We Are The Mighty on YouTube. I looked at them real quick. I don't really know what they're about, but y'all know I love to meet some Angry Cops because he's funny as a champ. So I'm getting ready to check him out as fam to see what he has to say about the military slang offending far too many people. I can, I already have an idea Let's just get into it, S fam. Let's go! What happened to you, We Are The Mighty? You're turning into BuzzFeed for the military. You're losing all credibility. The article I'm referring to is five cringeworthy military slang terms that we should actually retire. And it's horrible. You're better than this. Who uses actually in that way? Besides teenage girls and that one awesome meme with the fat. Who in the heck is this? A oh, actually, who? Hold on. I want to see. Hold on, man. I got so excited when I saw him put this dude up here. Let's see what he's gonna say. Hold on. I mean, he's talking about who actually uses who actually uses actually in that way. Let's go. In that way, besides teenage girls and that one awesome meme with the fat guy and the glasses. As I read it, it just sounds like five cringeworthy military slang terms that we should actually retire. Who we is should he mocking? Actually retire them. Five military slang terms that we should retire. What? I, I teach eighth grade English education. On five military. What? What kid, bro? I. Five military slang terms that we should actually retire. I hope he names these and we'll see. Let's go, bro. Let's keep it moving. All over again to you. And why are you starting with number one? You should start from five and then count down to the number one thing that should be kicked off the list. True. I'll do it the right way. Okay. Since you can't. Number five, in country. In the past, it was used as Indian country or when settlers were going into Indian territory or Indian country and they were out of their element. Its most recent use was in an interview during the Gulf War. First off, I did not know that. Second I didn't know off, that either. What are we supposed to call it now? Exactly. We're in country. Exactly. We are in the country that we are occupying. So uh, is, people are getting offended because it used to mean Indian country. I mean, you have Indian. You have people who people who are from India. India country. Indian country. Three. I guess. I I don't normally say that. This, this, oh my freaking, God. come on, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's keep moving. In country, how long you been in country? That five months. You think exactly. we're talking about Indian country? It's like trying to explain a joke that nobody got. It's in country is just in country exactly, now. Exactly, Words change. Number four, Dependa. Dependa is a terrible blanket nickname given to military spouses, even when undeserved. How about dependent? Dependa. A terrible blanket name given to military spouses, even when undeserved. The full word is dependopotamus. What? See, and I know he did a video saying what dependopot is, dependopotamus means. From the word hippopotamus, it, re it refers to the physical appearance of the spouse. Really? Wow. All right, all right, let's keep it going. The full word is dependopotamus. 
from the word hippopotamus, referring to the appearance of the spouse. This is that true? A dependa and a dependopotamus are two completely separate things, although exactly. they are similar in some ways. A dependa is just a military spouse. If my wife is a lieutenant and I'm a civilian, I'm, an dependa. Dependa. I'm a male dependa. Is what but I would rather be called Everybody's dependent. Everybody's wives or I significant guess. others are dependents. Now, a dependopotamus is a fat, annoying yeah, yeah, piece of shit <laughs> that's married to the first sergeant that demands that you salute her. A dependopotamus gets fatter while she's at home and you're deployed. Fingers stained orange with Cheeto dust and oh, breath oh. reeking of wine coolers. That's a dependa. My only, I'm, I'm not even gonna say nothing about that. I'm not even gonna say nothing about that. I want y'all to tell me why I'm not gonna say nothing about that. All I'm gonna say is I'm. Oh my goodness. I'm not disrespecting nobody. I don't know, bro. But every cops be keeping it real, bro. Let's keep it going, man. You ever see somebody with the body type of a hippo walking down the grocery aisle in flip flops, short shorts, and a workout top that is ten sizes too small? That is a dependopotamus. How are you writing an article on this and not know the difference? There are hot dependas out there. There are no hot dependopotamuses. Dep that is the beauty. Is it in the eye of the beholder? Y'all. I'll be catching him. I'll be catching him, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Depend upon him, I. Depend Kicking chicken. What are you, vegan? An American troop who is said to be doing the kicking chicken is a victim of a chemical weapon attack. There are certain chemical agents used in warfare that will cause the human body to spasm That's and kick, kick. maybe even flail around a bit before death. If somebody's doing the kicking chicken, you gotta zap them with the auto injector. What? I have never heard of that phrase until I worked in a chemical unit, I'll say. I would I I never heard that phrase until probably within the last two years. Kicking chicken. Hmm. But why should we get rid of that though, bro? I don't get it. Anyway, let's go. Oh, get them all juiced up on the drain line. This line. is no one. Even if it was exactly. I'm eating the animal. I was offending. No, so who cares? Body gets mad what am I saying? As if a chicken could even get offended. The thing is barely sentient. Of course he cares about animals. His name it's is Peter. Peter wants us to stop doing it. Is that what it is? Go. Blake. Blake. Has anybody ever met a Blake that isn't a douche? Blake. You want to know how <laughs> grunts learn? Funny anecdotes and phrases. Does he not want us to know how to fight a chemical attack? This guy is ISIS. Number two is pecker checker. We can't say okay. pecker checker. Blake. 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 <laughs> Why do I be catching him, bro? Blake. I could see how uh, I could see how that the pecker checker could be offensive, man. Maybe because maybe it's somebody's job. Maybe it's but that's their job though. I don't know. If they chose to do something like that, they can't be mad at nobody, bro. If that's their job or whatever, you know what I mean? If not, get out of that job. A pecker checker. To me, that sounds like somebody, that sounds like to me like a, a doctor who checks people whenever they have a, vir a virus or something like that. Anyway, let's keep it going, bro. Ake says, it's a nickname given to the Navy's hospital okay. corpsmen, all of whom are attached to Marines, also known as Doc. Now Blake's upset because so corpsman got Navy. his nickname Pecker Checker because sometimes Marines have been known to go off on liberty and come back with their tool a little dirty. I'll there tell you, you go. What, Blake, 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 if Marines no longer go on liberty and dip their tool into some lady boy or dirty hookers downstairs area and come back and have Doc check it out. They don't do that no more. Well, I guess we won't use packet checker. Good luck on that. And the number one military slang term that we should no longer what use, is this according be? to Blake, what's it gonna be? Is donkey dick. <laughs> you, you bleeped out the eye and dick. It's not even a curse word. You're on a military website trying to garner active reserve guard personnel. For those of y'all who don't know what it is, y'all saw what it is. It's 
It's the extension nozzle that we normally use on the fuel cans, on the fuel cans. We have to fuel up vehicles, right? And we don't always take them to our army gas station, our fuel point, right? So we'll have fuel cans and we can't just undo the top of the fuel can, it's just a hole and dump the freaking fuel all over the vehicle. We need to have something that it can freaking go kind of like a, kind of like a funnel that you will use for your vehicle to fill up the oil or gas. That's what we call it. It's called a, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Along with veterans, and you're you're bleeping out. Where is all this civility when you failed to bleep out Pecker and Pecker Checker? Whoa, Whoa, I'm so offended. Pecker, it's basically though. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call him, That's my battle buddy. Andrew Cross, my battle buddy. Basically, Pecker is not really. It's not really a cuss word, but I understand how it could be offensive to some people. I got it. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. It, to me, it depends on. It depends on how you use it, man. Let's go. We we gonna keep it moving. Let's go. I'm not gonna talk. It's a down. long, floppy thing. What do you want us to do, Blake? Hey, go get the jerry can attachment. The what? There you go. What? The long funnel goes attached to the jerry can. This doesn't look like a funnel. It's more of a spout. How about get the donkey deck? What? <laughs> get the goddamn donkey deck. In this article, Blake sounds like a civilian trying to push his way at thinking on a bunch of military members. The cherry on top of this ridiculous article is these are some of the least offensive slang terms that There's we use. What about Desert Queen, Blake? Blake. See, see. Haven't you heard of Desert Queen? Don't you think Desert Queen would be a little bit more offensive? There's a all five kinds of in other the stuff. states, but a ten overseas. Then you get back That's home, crazy. and well, that ten's a five again. And while well, she's walking around like she's shit hot, what the fuck? So he's talking about he's talking about people that are in the military that deploy. Oh, see, man. He's making me think now of back when I was. I'm not gonna say anymore. Let's go. Fuck is up a specialist so and so. Hey, would you back off, Desert Queen? All right, know your role. But not Desert Queen. Donkey Dick. Donkey Dick is the one. Is there something at the end? I gotta wait to see, cause I'll be missing these end words. I don't think there's nothing on the end of this one. Blake, Blake, I, I'll take that. I'll take. That. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, man, I don't see. There are so many more offensive words that we use in the army. I don't know why a lot of those should be not should be taken out. You know what I'm saying? And anyway, I know for us in basic training, our trade arc regulation is telling us like we can't, we shouldn't be doing all that if. if that extra cussing anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I, me in my opinion, I wouldn't care that we gotta take some of those words out. It's whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, you just gotta think for the most part. That's, I don't know, man. It just takes out of the army like, I don't wanna talk y'all to death ass fam. I don't, man. Anyway, like I said, y'all, I want to thank y'all for freaking all y'all requests. Hit me up over here in the social media. Um, I'm telling y'all, it's much easier for me to check in IG. It's fine if y'all want to leave the uh, comments in the descriptions. I'll try to get to them. Y'all just got to rock with me while I while I get to them and find them out and all that good stuff, or whatever the case may be. Also, if y'all want to see my reaction to angry cops versus the college athletes, y'all checking this thumbnail that I got on this end of the freaking video right here, okay? Y'all should see something right here. It's your boy Lynch. It's your boy Thurs Lynch. S fam, stand up, stay focused, motivated, get motivated, up in this day one time. Join the Super S fam link is down in the description below. Deuces, y'all.